Okay. This is the case I'm law. Not, not I don't give a sh what you, you think. Want to be the law you? is right. You escort me out, I'll sue you as well, Mr. Mayor. You can do whatever you want. This is the law no, right no, here. In a rant says past Texas that is attorney C.J. Grisham educating city That's officials on right free here. speech. If these no, chiefs no, come no, out here and pull me out of this meeting, have rules here. you had better read this, chief, because he's telling you to break the law. Mayor, no, I'm not. Come yeah. You can take him out. Now, where did that if coward you, Kerry you, Scrubs go? You go out. Where did the coward Kerry Scrubs no, go? Take him out. Is my three out. minutes no. up? You're gone. No. Is my, what am I gone for? What am I gone for? No, no. I, I, he I he have pulls the court violate the law. Goodbye. You're going to go to jail for disrespect. Oh, you're going to arrest me? Oh, you're going to arrest me? Okay, so under the threat of arrest, you just file. Right. Okay. Grisham is now suing the city on behalf of his client, Jason Falwell. City leaders also trampled on Falwell's yeah. constitutional rights. Well, you, I don't give a crap what you say. You can Okay, oh, now there Lord. it is again. I can talk like there that. It's a First uh, Amendment right. You violated right. the no. rules of the court. See, Branson, you are what ordered First to leave the right meeting. Did I violate? Oh. No, I'm not. He's the I'm cop. Not you tell me. I'm not. What What First Amendment right I'm did not. I violate? I'm not. You're either going to respect this you place or you're going to be asked to walk out. Am I under the arrest of arrest? You're going to go to jail if you I'm going to be arrested. Fine. Okay. Here. This began a few years ago when Falwell's gym got a fire department citation for electrical wiring. More issues from that dumpster? Yeah, no. Right here. That's it. Falwell complained to the inspectors and described to the city council the retribution he faced. It's a citation to an abandoned, 17-year-old abandoned outlet with no power. The year before, John Gomez inspected this, said it was okay and there's no issue. This year is an issue. So I corrected him on it and showed him what they did wrong. Instead of apologizing to me, they wrote another citation and another citation and another citation in the same outlet, a total of nine. Falwell then began looking into the fire department and police, found questionable expenditures, and discovered apparent city corruption. The city responded with more citations, raids, and alleged harassment. Yeah, I'm sorry that you have to relate that to that, but... I do! How do you not understand that? You took an oath to the Fourth Amendment. You're right. You took an oath to the Constitution. You're going to let them come on my property for something outside of my property? Recently, at another city council meeting, Falwell decided to confront city leaders and put his views on the public record. Jason Falwell, one of the only people in the room that tells you the truth. Uh, by the way, your citizens' comment stuff is that you can do everything you just said is not against the law. Uh, I can personally affront you, cuss at you, do whatever I want, and you have to listen to me because you work for me. You need to remember that, boy. All right. Chief Blanchard. Chief Blanchard, 1247. You spent... Hey, no. Excuse me? Excuse I just me. Read, I just read you the and first you're wrong, and you're lying okay. to the public. I'm not going to put up I'm not going to put up with any you. defamation of cover, character. That's not defamation, not that's a fact. I, I don't care. You I'm have not going to put up with no profanity or anything. You either act like an adult and speak right to everybody that's here, and you have the privilege to speak your mind for privilege. three minutes. You work to I'm me, saying, boy. You need to remember that. You. Go ahead. That's your Go. warning. Okay, I, I'm telling you. Now, rewind my clock while I finish my statement. Go ahead. Thank you, sir. Chief Blanchard, $1,247 fitted suit you stole from the company. From us. You work for us. Mm. On 9-10-23. Carrie Shrugs, you lied to the public. Carrie Shrugs on Facebook stated that these personally fitted suits was pre-approved by the council and manager of 2011. Jason Knight's dad was that, man, man, was that mayor then. Guess what he said, Carrie? Never approved that. Laugh at me all you want. Modifications to the policy manual took place almost 40 days after I complained about him. Y'all modified it. Why did y'all modify it? You know when it was modified before, Kerry? Not 2011, I do. 2019, 2014, 2004. You lied to the public. Even with the recent modifications, a Class A uniform is the highest uniform APBD has, and it is not a suit, you scumbag. Uniform Class A, did you have a dress hat? No, you did not. Long sleeves, did you, ha did you have that? Yes, you did. Tie, yes. Trousers, yes. Skirt, I mean, maybe. Mr. Mayor. Black belt. I'm talking. It's my turn to talk. Personal attack once again, Mayor. Peace. Will you? I don't give a crap what you say. You piece of Okay, oh, no. Lord. There it is again. I can talk like Here that. It's a First uh, Amendment right. You violated right. the uh, rules of the court. Chief Branson, you are what First Amendment right did I violate? Oh. No, I'm not. He's the I'm not going to deal with tell it. You tell me. I'm not. What, what First Amendment right I'm did not. I violate? I'm not. You're either going to respect this you place or you're going to be asked to walk out. Am I under duress of arrest? You're going to go to jail if you... I'm going to be arrested. Let's Fine. Go. Okay. Here. Here. Oh, I can go. Uh, 
Mr. Mayor, City Council, my name is C.J. Grisham. I'm a civil rights attorney here in Texas, and uh, what I just witnessed was a violation of Mr. Falwell's rights. Uh, let me read something to you. Arresting someone in retaliation for the exercise of free speech rights is sufficient to chill speech as an understatement. This is Beck v. City of Upland. Uh, Arguing, even if done loudly with a profane or offensive language will, language, will not in and of itself constitute disorderly conduct. That's pain v. poly. Swear words do not provide probable cause for an arrest for disorderly conduct because the words as a matter of law are not fighting words. Johnson v. Campbell. I could go on, Mr. Mayor. Your rules of decorum are unconstitutional and they're setting the city up, you individually, you individually for liability. Now, you will be seeing a letter from me, a demand letter for violating my client's rights just now because he has the right to say fuck, shit, dumb, bitch, whatever. Oh, he yes. has the right to say all of those words Lord, because it is a First Amendment right. You can't do anything about it. Let me tell you something. The law has long established that arresting an individual for publicly displaying vulgarities violates the First Amendment. That's the Cohen case, 1969. Indeed, the Supreme Court recently held that a public school violated the free speech rights of a cheerleader by suspending her when she said things like school, softball, cheer, everything. Then there was another, uh, that's uh, Mahoy, Mahoney Area School District, VBL. Uh, there's also HSV Steelman saying that a police officer was not entitled to qualified immunity for arresting a plaintiff who said you. Did you hear that? Here we go. No qualified immunity. So I can say throughout my entire three minutes, I can say again, and I can say again, and there's nothing you can do about it because it's called expressive speech. We are allowed to express ourselves. We are allowed to talk about what we think about you. If I think you, Mr. Mayor, are a tyrant, okay. I can say that. If I think the city manager is a piece of shit, I can okay, say that. It's I'm protected. Not, okay. This is the case I'm law. Not, I don't give a shit what you, you think. Be the law is right. You escort me out, I'll sue you as well, Mr. Mayor. You can do whatever you want. This is the law no, right here. Not, and if these no, chiefs come out here and is. pull me out of this he meeting, rules you had better read this, chief, because he's telling you to break the law. Mayor, no, I'm not. Come yeah. On. You can take him out. Now, where did that coward can you carry scrubs go? You go out. Where did the coward carry scrubs go? go? Take him out. Is my three minutes up? No. Is my, what am I gone for? What am I gone for? No, no. I have to be escorted. You're going to go to jail for disrespect. Oh, you're going to arrest me? Oh, you're going to arrest me? Okay, so under the threat of arrest, you just violate my right. Okay. Mm. Legal experts say attorney C.J. Grisham and his client Jason Falwell have an airtight case for civil rights violations. The Constitution and settled case law are clear. Citizens are entitled to tell police and public officials to go F themselves. It is protected speech. And that includes in public forums like a city council meeting. Government officials and police who then retaliate and throw somebody out under threat of arrest are vulnerable in a civil lawsuit. Kudos to Jim Hunter Jason Falwell for knowing his rights, obtaining public records, and doing some terrific investigative work into city officials and their questionable spending. Kudos also to attorney C.J. Grisham. He is putting cities and towns across Texas on notice that constitutional rights matter and that tyranny must be stopped. By the way, in Oklahoma, police and sheriff's deputies in Cleveland County are now pushing and yelling at each other. You can get the out of my face. I don't give who okay. you are back okay, okay. Back back this is my county back too back up. Back up. Mm, check out that video at the link below it generated a lot of comments on youtube one of the most popular is from bill mcmillan 7735 he wrote there needs to be much higher standards for law enforcement officers these guys act like gang members i would add that bad cops comprise one of the most dangerous gangs in america i look forward to reading your comments about the battle over free speech in texas i'm david schuster thanks for joining us